What's going on guys, Ansel here. Welcome back to With This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, review them, and then I get my first impressions on the cologne. Today, we're gonna be checking out none other than YSL Loam, or Ye Saint Laurent uh, Loam. This came out in 2006. I can't even remember when I found this fragrance. I ran across this one, I think, in uh, Kohl's, and I was like, oh, this smells pretty good. And I went ahead, went on fragrance net, bought it for like 70 bucks at the time. It runs about 80 to a hundred dollars, depending on how many ounces that you're getting. The one ounce is definitely like 70 bucks on a actual YSL website. So you can get it off the official website for pretty cheap. It's not too expensive, but it's definitely a crowd pleaser. It's this citrus fresh, this fragrance right here, this is what you wear in the summertime this is definitely one of those summer scents but it does not last for nothing i've sprayed this like five six times on my skin and when i tell you three to five hours later poof gone and i'm like what happened to the scent it was so good it was so good for that it's like a shortest high you ever had on any cologne uh it just doesn't last but i love it so much and that's why i have a 3.4 ounce version it still lasts me years i've still had this for years and i mean i put a dent in it but it's i just spray it this is one of those fragrances that i just spray let me go ahead and let y'all know about the perfumers as well as the fragrance notes in here so the one of the perfumers is going to be dominique ropion ropion i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right we also have Anne the flippo and we also have pierre wargny 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 Anywho, the uh, base notes are going to be, or really not even the base notes, it just shows the fragrance notes on here. It's going to be citrus peel, you have ginger, basil blossoms, uh, violet leaves, vetiver, and tonka bean. I'm really learning about myself that I do like vetiver fragrances, especially when they have that citrus note in there. Vetiver and citrus go really well together. It's just like nice woody note. It's just fresh, sweet goodness. Like I've gotten so many compliments with this one. And again, it's not about the compliments, it's about if you actually really like this scent and you want to wear it. The compliments is just this extra bonus that you get with the cologne. This is a great fragrance as the blind buy, honestly. I think you could wear this year round, to be honest. Like, in the fall, it's still good. In the winter months, it's still fine. Summer, for sure, it's popping. It's definitely a summer fragrance, but you could wear this year round, for sure. I will say the cap is definitely a fingerprint magnet, as you all can kind of tell. It's an interesting cap. It's it feels good to just. It's easy to grab. Um, it doesn't come off like uh, yeah, it doesn't come off like YSL or I'm sorry, Versace Arrows. Versace Arrows cap just flies off like it's a magnet. Um, this one does stay on pretty securely. Like I said, this is a great blind buy fragrance. It's not too expensive. I definitely recommend you check it out. Let me know what you all thought of it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you had to say. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Until next time, you guys, peace out.